So I'm going to go through setting up a Zap to connect Sherpa to our CRM. In this case, I'm using Podio. However, as long as your CRM has Zapier uh, compatibility, then you should be fine and the steps should be pretty much the same. So first things first, we're going to connect the Sherpa app on Zapier uh, to our Zap. It's invite only. And so it's actually the first step in the knowledge base article. It's just a link. And if you're on the YouTube channel, it should be in the comments. So I'm going to go over to our um, Fresh Desk article here and click follow this link. This is the invite. This is what allows us to see the app on Zapier. I'm going to click accept invite and build this app. Brings me back to my Zapier account. And I'm going to click to make a new Zap. So this is where we select to use uh, the Sherpa app on Zapier. It's 1.0.1. That's the one that we want to use. And we're triggering a new lead. We're creating a new lead in Podio when we are zapping the prospect over to our CRM. I'm going to click to continue. Then I need to sign into Sherpa. This step is, is very important. Although it seems really easy and straightforward, if you get this wrong, uh, Zapier doesn't have a great way of telling you that. And so you might just get an error later on that doesn't let you continue to create your Zap. It won't pull test data over. Um, and so we need to make sure that this is correct. Also, when you are entering your credentials, do use all lowercase. Um, that's how it recognizes emails. If you're using any uppercase in your email, it may also cause it to error. So I'm going to click to continue. I'm going to name my webhook. This is exactly what it's going to look like in our Sherpa account. So I'm going to put uh, Allison Sherpa to Podio. Continue, and we can test the trigger. This is going to test bringing data over from Sherpa into uh, Zapier. So that tells me I got my login credentials correct because it was able to find test data and pull it over. So John Doe uh, is now getting to the middle part of the Zap. So bringing it here, next thing we need to connect our uh, CRM. So let's click continue. And again, this is where I'm going to select Podio. You can select whatever CRM you're using as long as it is on Zapier. And we're going to create an item in our Podio. Um, if you haven't connected your Podio yet, again, it will just go through the same thing, um, entering your login credentials for your CRM. And so here is where um, things can look a little bit different depending on what your CRM looks like. So I'm going to take you through different items that we can pull over from Sherpa to put into your CRM. However, uh, the fields from here on out can vary just depending on how your CRM is built out. You should be able to still follow along and understand what should go where. So in my organization, I'm just choosing my company, my workspace. Most people's will be seller leads. Let's see. I want leads in this case. Lots of people only have one workspace. We have a few because we work with quite a few uh, partners. Um, seller leads will probably be yours, but you should know depending on, on how your CRM is, uh, what that should be called. Application uh, for us is our lead gen app. So this is telling the system exactly where we should be putting that prospect in our CRM. There's lots of different apps within our CRM, lots of different workspaces, and we're telling uh, Zapier exactly where we want this lead to go. Stage of lead for us, I'm going to put incoming message. That might vary again depending on your own CRM. And my next action is going to be call new lead because that's the next action I want uh, whoever this is getting assigned to to take. Next, property address. So this is where the easy uh, stuff comes into place. Obviously, we want our property address. And so we just type it in here, and I can select. This is going to be the seller's property address if there's a unit. Um, actually, with the way data is in Sherpa, the unit will probably just be in the property address there. Owner name. 
So we can do first name, space, last name. If we don't put that space in between, the John and Doe will just be combined together. Um, primary contact, we can put um, a number. Property phone. That's what we want. We don't want uh, the Sherpa phone number. The Sherpa phone number is going to be the number that was used to text the contact. I don't necessarily need that in my CRM, so I want property phone. Um, and we can put that here as well. Phone. That's fine. Email. We have it. Email type work. Doesn't matter really for us. Mailing address. We do have mailing addresses as well. So we can go uh, mail street, space, mail city, space, mail state, space, mail zip. And for property notes, I can actually just put the notes from the prospect page. So if we've put any notes in the prospect page, we can pull that over. Uh, let's see. None of these items are actually in Sherpa. It's just fields that we will enter in Podio if we get them. Let's see if there's anything else that would be applicable to pull over from Sherpa. Communication log. We can put prospect link and conversation links. So these are the two links. One of them is the public link and one is the Sherpa link. And so we just type a uh, link in there and it will pull up both. And then if there's anything else, let's see, additional links, Sherpa phone, yes. So as I had mentioned, we can put uh, the phone number that was used to contact them if we want. And if there's anything else, I'm going to go back up actually to the notes section, uh, the communication log section, and I can just add some additional, um, actually, let's go back up to, I think there was an actual notes section here. So here I can put the campaign name that the prospect was in, the lead stage, and if we assigned an agent in Sherpa, we can put that all here. If you have fields for that, great. We don't in our CRM, but so I'm just gonna add them here. But if there's a place where you can actually match those up, then there's no real strict rules here, as long as you're pulling over as much data as required. You can also take a look if you do this um, and just Scroll through all of your options, see if there's anything else that's maybe missing that you'd like to pull over. We can also upload our, our custom fields. So when we uploaded prospect data into Sherpa, we could upload some custom fields and we can pull those over as well. So custom field one, two, three, four, we can pull those all over um, and put them in your, your notes section. So let's go back through and just take a look at what we did. So. Uh, the required fields, of course, all of the required fields have to be filled out. I've put the property address, I've put the name, put the contact number, um, I've put the email address, I've put the mailing address, notes, campaign name, lead stage, agent, um, Sherpa phone is going to be down here, my links to the conversation. So I'm just pushing as much information as I possibly can over to my CRM so that whoever is handling the lead from there then on out, if it's myself, if it's another team member, they have a complete set of information. Then I'm going to click continue, test and continue. And so this will test pushing that John Doe lead over to our CRM. So that was successful. Great. So now I need to turn my zap on. This is the step that's required so I can actually see the zap in Sherpa. So now I have two check marks here. The zap is turned on. Let's go here, make sure it's actually on. Okay, cool. So that says on. I'm going to name, this is just what we see it in uh, Zapier for going forward. And now when I go back to Sherpa, I'm going to refresh because we'll require a refresh. 
And now when I come here to my account settings page, I go to manage app integrations. You can see Allison. Sure, what did I name it? I've, I've done some of these before, so let's just go back and check. What did I... Allison Sherpa to Podio, great. So it's this one at the bottom here. The most recent should be at the bottom. And so now I know that's set up, excellent. I'm gonna go back here. Now in my campaign, I'm going to um, select the correct webhook. Allison Sherpa to Podio, it should be again, the most recent one at the bottom. Save changes. And I'm going to actually test pushing a zap now. You do have to select that in all of your campaign settings right now. We are working on having a default zap, but for now, make sure that the zap is selected in your campaign settings. If you're having issues uh, pushing, especially from a follow-up campaign, always go back to your campaign settings and make sure that that is set up there. And I'm just going to test pushing a, uh, let's do a dead lead. Course, we probably don't want to actually push dead leads over but just for my test reasons I'm going to use uh, this prospect I'm gonna click push to Zapier and now I should be able to find let's just pull the last name hopefully it's unique enough I'm gonna come over to Podio I'm gonna refresh And we can see I've just pushed this lead over. It has been created in my Podio workspace and we're good to go. If you guys have any troubles with this, I know Zapier can sometimes be a little bit funny. Please reach out to us at support.leadtrooper.com and we can definitely help you out.